I'm a big fan of not looking into the bullish side of an investment, but also on the bearish side. And that's why, without further ado, introduction into the five most bearish arguments that you can have to actually not invest into Virgin Galactic. So let's go. Make sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm to reach more stock investing people out there because you know every time I do a live stream I see people from Asia, from Europe, from North America, South America, from Africa, from everywhere watching all of those videos and I highly appreciate it. Let me know by smashing that like button that you are here to see what's going on with space stock. Now let's let's dive in. I mean, one of the most important things that I see many don't like is that Virgin Galactic is a very young growth company and therefore they can be quite volatile. Like, I mean, back in February, as you can see here, we went up almost, you know, what is it? Fourfold, fivefold from the lows be in the, in the, November, 414%, you know, you could make a lot of money. And then, you know, we basically went down up to back 11.23 back in March, which was the health crisis, obviously. And then we went further up and up and up until, you know, the cabin reveal and uh, the hype of the new CEO a little bit breaking down. And then uh, we went down to S low as 15.92 and then we are somewhere fighting against the 22 dollar mark so as you can see it's the whole chart you know from very beginning until the very end is a whole of a roller coaster and that's why i believe that people that you know don't like this up and downs and uh, get emotionally too much attached maybe should consider to not invest in Virgin Galactic. You know, for these reasons, I think there's much different stocks that are just, you know, returning silently 10% every year, like Amazon, Apple, you know, or whatever. But obviously, do Apple and Amazon has the potential to 10x in the next couple of weeks or years? I don't think so. Another important factor is the time. If you are a not long-term investor, then Virgin Galactic is nothing for you because the story to develop will take a couple of years. And if you say, I'm just in for the really, really short term, let's say a couple of days or weeks, then it's very hard to estimate where the Virgin Galactic stock will go and will, if you think that you can somehow predict tend to know when it's going down and up then let me tell you you can't do this okay you will maybe be right a couple of times but mostly you will lose your money because you will lose the money you will make some stupid uh, trades and then you will you know lose a bigger amount of money so however I want you to make sure that you understand what long term means. In my personal investing world, long term means, you know, like five years to 10 years. And further than 10 years, it's really hard to pretend to know where the world will stand, right? And therefore, I'm taking it year by year, checking every time the whole story is it's still intact. Maybe, you know, we have another delay from Q1 of the 2021 Richard Branson flight to maybe Q3, you know, anything can happen, right? Maybe they say, well, we discovered some very, very interesting features that we want to upgrade the spaceship to, and we need, you know, a half a year more, and we have the money now. So I think, you know, if you are not ready for something like this and don't have the patience, then this is nothing for you. And if you are a long-term investor, don't think that the fruits of long-term investing is just to be picked up by 10 years time. Sometimes it's, it's just much, much faster. So maybe we five times our money already in the first or second year, right? But uh, this is something that only, you know, we will see in the back mirror and therefore we just need to go with the flow. And I think the long-term flow is definitely the best flow. 
Then, uh, before we diving into the next category, I would like to emphasize that we have the best membership group out there, okay? I have the best members on this channel that was ever born in the whole universe, and they are all joined already, so what you are waiting for. We have three tiers, okay? The first one, the Wolfpack Gold will actually support the channel. The second one will give you the access to the Discord channel, and the third one will give you even one-on-one -on -one with me and I think there's a huge value behind it. I think this is like a mentorship that you can get with me together. So uh, I think there is uh, really, really not too much to wait for. And as you can see from every live stream that we are doing nowadays, uh, we having a lot and lot of people joining. Be not the one that's not joining because I think that uh, this community is really helping you to get better as investor. Now, things to the side okay let's put this to the side for a second because i want you to understand that space is not for everyone okay not everyone can actually think how space and space tourism and space industry can actually work right because you know I, we are doing here our thing and the other people should do their thing but let me not in, be involved in that but you know uh, i understand that and i feel that if you cannot imagine that this is just the niche product of Virgin Galactic to get to the big cake, same like Tesla did with their very first Roadster. They wanted to first prove that the electric car can be sexy, can be fast, can be really a great car and then move to the more mass appealing car Model S and then to the mass, mass, mass market with the Model 3 obviously. So, but this took, you know, 10 years time uh, since they are on the stock market so as you can see things are needing to be built up and therefore if you don't find your identity with it I think you should really keep away from Virgin Galactic because I strongly believe if you cannot identify with the company then you will be not able to research uh, you will be not able to really you know think like the company does you don't uh, really think like the overall situation could be you know you are maybe too much disconnected from the stock and the company and the business and finally you know think about a stock is a part of a business right you will be part of this business so you want to be you know with this business and not you know just be in for the money because as always in life money is not everything So, and as you might know, Virgin Galactic is still a very small company with a lot of risk. So if you are not prepared for this, then don't invest into Virgin Galactic because uh, we are now, uh, you know, sometimes uh, dancing with the market cap of $4 billion. And I think that in these times of the market, we are very, very, very easily can reach a market capitalization of 30 or 40 billion billion dollars just with a trend with people wanting to be in Virgin Galactic but if you're thinking you know this is just too much risk too much uncertainty the business has to be built we need to see how the demand is the challenges how the team overcome you know the first operation weeks and this is totally understandable and for some people this is just too much of a vision to have to invest into this company and I totally agree and obviously in this case you are in the risk also to buy Virgin Galactic at a much higher price let's say 100 or 150 dollars but uh, you have more certainty which is totally better for people because sometimes you know people can get very angry or have some health problems and therefore we don't wish this to anybody and therefore stay safe and healthy and if it's too small of a company with too much uncertainty then don't invest into Virgin Galactic. I think that Virgin Galactic has one of the best managements, but if you 
don't like the style of the management, okay? So let's start with the first CEO that really bring the greatness to this business in terms of experience. You know, Michael Koglazer definitely knows a thing or two about business uh, experience for end consumer. And if you don't like this approach, then, you know, maybe it's nothing to invest in. Secondly, George Whiteside, he seemed to be like a nice guy, but I seen that this is a very hard working company. So I can also imagine that he's really pushing the team, really getting respect from the team. And if you don't see that, then you know, uh, you might not believe in him as the CPO. Then think about Shamas. Shamas is a very smart guy in my personal opinion, but he has a very own style and it's not always appealing to the mass market or to the mass thinking. So if you don't like him, then you maybe should also not be invested in VG. And if you finally have a problem with Richard Branson, one of the best entrepreneurs from the UK with a marketing machine that I see very, very rarely building such a brand that is recognized worldwide. Everyone knows Virgin, right? And what he built, how the people love to work for this company, I think is unique. And if you don't like the style of him or, you know, the extravaganza, then you should not be in Virgin Galactic because you will be not happy, right? I mean, imagine you are invested into Virgin Galactic and then they do something that you don't like and you will be, you know, dismotivated. You really need to have someone that you trust because in the end, you are putting your money into their hands.